The penultimate event of the Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour season saw the circuit head west of Auckland for the Ortex Mirawai Open. The event has an impressive list of champions, including Lydia Ko, Michael Hendry and Ryan Fox. And 133 players teed it up at Mirawai Links, hoping to taste similar success. In the women's field, Chantelle Cassidy held a slender one-shot lead heading into the final round as she sought her fourth Charles Tour title. Just one adrift was North Harbour professional Hani Song, fresh off her debut Charles Tour victory the previous week at Akarana. On the par 5 second hole, Song was unable to save par from the sand trap and fell to three under, while Cassidy walked off with birdie to produce a two-shot swing and increase her lead to three shots. With a gusting wind blowing off the Tasman, par golf was order of the day, and Cassidy showed her experience to get up and down on a number of occasions, including here on the third. The Cambridge golfer stretched her lead over Song to four with a birdie on the sixth, but the 20-year-old pro hit back, picking up a shot here on seven. And when Cassidy bogeyed the ninth hole, her lead was now just two shots. But dropped shots on 11, and here on 15 was Song's undoing. She'd fall to four under, four back of Cassidy, to see her quest for back-to-back -back Charles Tour titles falter. Although the New Zealand number four did produce a shot of the round on the par four last, firing this long approach shot all the way to within two feet of the cup to finish with a birdie and a final round of 71. That birdie was matched by Cassidy who fired a 68 to ease to a four shot victory at the Ortex Murawai Open. The Waikato amateur claiming her fourth Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour title, one more than Lydia Ko and second equal on the all-time winners list. Yeah, it feels really good to come away with the victory today. I kind of just stayed focused and kept my head down and tried to focus on my um, round today and worried about it with like two holes to go. In the men's championship, Gareth Patterson carried a five-shot lead into the final round as he looked to back up his Akarana Open title the previous Sunday. Hoping to run down Patterson were two golfers equally adept at handling windy conditions, fellow Wellingtonian Mark Brown and Rusley's Sean Jones. Brown played the front nine in one under as Patterson mixed a birdie and a bogey to see the lead narrow to four shots. A turning point emerged on the par 5 12th where Patterson's ball was stuck under the bunker lip and he had to punch out backwards to walk away with par. Jones was on a scoring streak and notched up his third straight birdie to begin the back nine to get himself within three of Patterson's lead. But a back nine boil over was quickly extinguished when Patterson walked away with a fine birdie on the par 5 14th when the others could only manage par. And again, he made birdie on his own on the very next hole to lead by five with three holes to play. The left-hander holding his nerve on the final day as Gareth Patterson won the Ortex Mutaway Open by five shots. The first golfer to win on consecutive weekends on the Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour. Back-to-back -back is, you know, great. Yeah, I mean, it's a hard enough game to win one of these, much less back-to-back. -back. So, uh, yeah, it was nice to... Nice to be in New Zealand golf history, which is, which I haven't had a lot of really, so it's nice to be in good form and it was great to lead from start to finish. It's the first time for me, so, you know, doing that's been quite special. So Patterson is in pole position to claim the Jenny and Holmes Charles Tour trophy in a fortnight's time at the Karis Tauranga Open. A third place finish will see him claim the silverware and $5,000 bonus. It's always good to get a bonus at the end of the year, which would be fantastic. So walking away with that would be a very proud moment. So I'll have to go for three on the trot. We'll see if that's been done as well. Catch Holland Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.